Hello, this is Carl here, and this is just a quick tutorial, not an expert one, just a quick one on uh, how to do green screen because I get asked a lot. So this is uh, iMovie, which uh, comes as part of the Mac operating system. That's why I love Mac so much because everything you need to be amazing in ministry is built right into your Mac. So um, I didn't really plan this through, so let me go through here and uh, click on one of my events on a Mac. Um, you uh, organize things um, into events. So here's a, a puppet, um, some different puppet things. You can see that we filmed um, in a green screen. And uh, so I can fast forward. So let me, uh, let's do a quick green screen with uh, Ranger Granger because he'll take some um, uh, editing or cropping. So I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to do a new movie. And uh, that may have been off your screen. You always hit no theme. Those themes are dumb. And I'll give this uh, name green screen sample, or it says green sample. So now I've got a new movie. Now I can choose from all these different events on the side. This is all um, actors that we have imported. Um, you know, this is your raw footage in your events. Uh, but down here I had green screen video. So here, so I can scroll through all these and I'm gonna pick that one with Ranger Granger, all right? And I'm gonna drag that movie down here, okay? Now, that is my main movie backdrop. In fact, I'm gonna make this a little bigger so you can see a little more of it. But how do I replace that green? <laughs> that looks kind of funny there. So what I do is I go online and I look for pictures, all right? So I think I have uh, one here called Temporary Images. Yes, yeah, so these are all backdrops that I have used for various events, all right? Or various videos. I just, I actually put the word scene in Google, like I'll say church scene, forest scene, and Google's great at that. So let's take this forest scene. Now the backdrop actually becomes the video. All right, what I mean by that is uh, the backdrop doesn't go on top. It actually goes down in your timeline. So I've got to get back to the beginning here. And I'm going to drop it right there. And the green screen actually needs to go up on the top. Okay, now an image in iMovie, you can drag this image and make it as long as you want. Let me shrink the timeline. I'm going to make this go all the way to here. So then you, you edit um, the green screen. So I'm going to hit play here for a second. That was a great lesson. I can see his audio starts here. Whoa, that was a great lesson. All right, so this is a video. I'm going to crop this. That's uh, Command B. And I'll get rid of that. And I'm going to move that to the beginning. And let's see how much of a video we want to make. Whoa! That was a great lesson! That was sure fun! Alright, it's time to go to trail time! So this is a little video I made that instead of just dismissing the kids, <laughs> we made a green suit. So let's pretend I'm going to go all the way to here. And let's pretend everything after that is trash. Now, I'm not destroying my originals because I'm only cropping what's down in here. My original one will still be up there. So now I want to make this green screen on the top overlap the bottom. Well, this first button up here is special features. You have a choice for uh, cutaway. And what a cutaway would do was you'd be watching the movie here and it would switch to the other one. All right. But I don't want cutaway. I want... Um, green screen all right there's also side by side which you'll use occasionally that's where the video on top Whoa, that was would go half half that's what cutaway is and then uh, or side by side and then picture in picture is where you can actually take another video and uh, put it inside Whoa, the other video that was so iMovie is pretty cool but that's not what you're watching this for you want to see green screen all right so I go to green screen you can use blue screen and you'll see there, um, there now all the green disappears. Now you're going to see there's going to be some fuzz. This little eraser tool, you click on that and you click on anywhere where there's some fuzz and it, uh, it adjusts the lighting. So that's just a cool feature. So sometimes there's a dark shadow or something. But we also have a problem here in that you still see me, right? So you also can click on crop and go crop to fill and get rid of Carl's, my little head here, by just cropping this up. And I can decide I want him off to the side. We should probably just center him. And uh, when I click out of here, it's done. So now, Whoa, that was a great lesson. there is my green screen video. So in iMovie, it is not hard to do. Um, there's a little ins and outs that you'll learn. Um, 
as you crop and things, um, but you play with it and it's a lot of fun. So to finish this off, if that were the whole video, I would go down to the bottom, make the background the same length. When you see the background moving, um, that's one of the dumb defaults. I'm going to go back to crop it. It's on Ken Burns. Now that can be cool because you can say start here and zoom, you know, and end up here. And so if you play that background, Whoa, you'll that see it will start lesson. to move in. Um, but really on a backdrop, you don't want it moving. So I'm just going to go to crop. I'm going to go crop to fill. And my graphic obviously is taller, so you could actually decide um, where you want it. Probably the bottom is where I want it. And now that Dying backdrop will not beautiful. move. So then I just go to uh, share. And I don't use any of the stuff posting to Facebook and YouTube directly. Uh, doesn't give you a lot of control. So just export it to a file. Um, and then uh, you, you give it, a, there's always a description. Uh, but you want to give it a name. I'm going to change this to green screen sample and um let's see it says it's only gonna be 27 megabytes so i think i could go a little higher in quality and um that's the resolution don't use this add to theater it wastes a lot of space in your computer there's a there's a place called theater where you can save all your videos but you've exported it you don't want it on your computer twice so i'm going to hit next and then it's going to ask me where i want to save it and i think i'll just put it right on the desktop and um hit save and there's a little progress bar where you'll be able to see how long it takes. And when it's all done, you will have a green screen video. So while that's exporting, let me just see if I've got a couple samples here of, uh, of projects that I've done with green screen. And maybe I can show you what an official one uh, looks like. So it looks like it's loaded a bunch of stuff here. So let me open this project. And here you can see some intro stuff, all right, then a backdrop, and then uh, some teaching there, and then it, that's a, oh, this is my whole service, so that's what the green screen video looks like, where I had actors um, talking in front of a screen. Where's a, pro let me see if I can find a project that's actual green screens, that's the service, uh, there's my Reggie background, let's see here, video five, okay, so let me open this project. Because this is the actual green scheme project. So here's where I have an intro. And then our, our video's up here. The backdrops are down here. Uh, these, are, these have different little uh, features. That's why it's broken up like this. Oh, there's a little... All right, finally, level four. And I guess we both would go on to the next level. Yeah. That's a good idea. Let's try it. Let's go to build mode. All right, let's build some cars. <laughs> and so they did that. We put transitions in. Um, so here's the next one in front of a Minecraft screen capture, and, um, and then that's the end of it. So looks like that is done. So now if I go to my desktop, I should be able to find green screen sample and uh, open that up, and I'll put it right in the middle so you can see it. And there you go. Whoa, that was a great lesson. And there is our... Uh, green screen video that we just made. Now, if you want to see the full green screen video of Ranger Granger, um, I'll link that in the comments, but it's on my YouTube channel. All right, hopefully this is helpful. Have fun doing green screen.